Welcome to Skinny TV or YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Blockstars players. Yes, today in the EPL, we had a lot of games at 2 p.m. And Mohamed Kudus, Kudus cannot stop scoring. He cannot stop assisting. Today, he was in action as West Ham United. They won by three goals to one and his play was really fantastic. I hope you enjoyed Kudus today. We will talk about that in this update as he's helped a 19-year-old boy to score his first professional goal or his first senior career goal for West Ham United. And we will talk a little about that together with some statistics from Kudus this particular season. We will look at it in this update. Piece of good news for all of us. Tariq Nilamte, he is back for his side. Um, that's Brighton of Albion today. They played against Newcastle and he did splendidly well as he climbed up the bench to help them in this particular game. We also talk about Antoine Salam Semenyo, Jordan Pierre Ayu, and some other ones in the EPL and more. Before then, if you have joined me, take your time and like the video for me. After liking, if you are new, subscribe to this channel, put on the post notifications so that anytime you drop a latest update, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Leave your thoughts and comment in the comments box i also try and give shout out to all those who commented under the last video as of the time i'm recording this one around 4 15 pm then I'll, um after watching the video please do well to share so that others will also enjoy last week we had about um 75 shares in all the videos i think you guys did great thank you for always sharing for others to also come here and enjoy so quickly no time to waste let's begin from the western united game today it was the western's coach david moyes last home game after I've already brought you an update that yes after the season he's leaving and the next coach is going to be julian lepetegui and today it was a game that they needed to win against Luton town in fact Luton town scored first to unsettle west ham so first half it was Lut um first half ended Luton town won west ham no even the west ham they were at home and the second half they did very well yes quickly they got the equalizer from james ward prowse so check added them the young boy also came to add another one to it now before we talk about the game itself Mohamed kudus this particular season he's had 13 goal contribution in the epl and out of that he's the third highest in the team for the 13 goal contribution secondly he's had seven goals for western united that is the second um, highest in the western team then the third one is six assist in the team that is the joint second highest for West Ham United. Now, aside that, as I said, um, West Ham, they have a young chap, yes, that is George Elfie, and today he scored his first professional um, goal or his first senior goal for West Ham United. Kudus provided the assist for him on the, um, you know, in the second half. That is the third goal. Kudus actually did very well. He dribbled in the box, took the ball to the byline, then brought in a cut back where the young boy, George Elfie, also slotted him beautifully for West Ham United in this game. So, as I said, 3 1 for West Ham in this particular fixture the first goal was scored as i said by um the waiting that is talking of looting town um that is sambi lokonga he scored the first goal for them we had james or so he equalized on the 54th minute thomas to check on the 68th minute for the home side then george elthy on the 76th minute where kudus assisted him kudus started and completed 90 minutes plus seven that is 97 minutes for um his side western he had one assist as i've said already goals expected from him was 0.74 but today he didn't score. Expected assist was 0.42 where he assisted. Touches. Kudut has um, 59 touches in the game. Kudut also had accurate passes of 37 out of 42 attempts. So 37 out of 42. That is 88% for Kudus, which is great. Key passes. He gave three in the game today. Crosses. He attempted one, which wasn't accurate. Long balls. Kudus sent four long balls. All the four were fantastic. It were all um, you know, successful. And big chances. He created one in the game. Short off target were three. Short block were two for him. He hit the woodwork once, so today Kudus almost scored, but unfortunately the woodwork prevented him. Dribble attempt were five for Kudus today, where he completed three out of them. Then big chances miss was one, as I said, he hit the goal post. Um, ground was he went in for ten and won seven, that is good. Possession loss were only nine, one foul, he was fouled twice, and two tackles from Mohamed Kudus. Getting a rating of 7.9 via so far score. 7.9 rating is amazing. Other sites is also getting 8, 8.1, and um, you know, around those figures. And Kudus was the second highest player 
um, highest rated player in the game today. And that is it also for him. Now, let me move forward from Kudus because Kudus is doing amazing and we cannot just stay with him um, throughout. Yes, George, with um, George Ethi, after scoring his first goal for Western United, he celebrated with Kudus. You know, he went to do the Kudus celebration. He went to sit on the advertising board um, with Mohamed Kudus and it was a nice celebration in there. And that is that. Now, let me move forward and talk about the Newcastle game. It was tough. Newcastle won, then Brighton and Hove Albion won. And our interest, that is talking of Tariq Nilamte. I said it in the last video that, um, you know, he might not start today. He didn't start. He came on, um, you know, on the 40th minute and did 50 minutes of action for his side, Brighton, where he was rated 6.8. Joel Wettman, who scored the goal for the away side, he got injured, so the player has to come in, and he did very well. After 50 minutes, um, he had um, one clearance in the game, one block shot, one interception. Tackles were three, where he had 30 touches of which He completed 16 passes out of 18. That is 89% for Tariq Nilamte in the game today. Ground was, he went in for six and won four. Aerod was, he went in for three and won none. Um, possession loss were four in the game. Fouls, he made one. He was fouled once as well. Then rebel attempt was one, which wasn't accurate for Tariq Nilamte. Today, he was solid as a right back as he came on for his side, Brighton, and they picked a vital point away against Inform Newcastle. So, yes, that is it. Also, for the Ghanaian right back, it is good for him to be back so that he can join a Blasters team going to the World Cup qualifiers against Mali and Central African Republic in Ghana here. Now, let me move on and talk a little about um, Wolves versus Crystal Palace. In fact, I don't have to um, waste my time on it because our interest didn't play. That is Jordan Pierre Ayou. He was on the bench. Jordan Ayou of late, he's been climbing off the bench. He's not really um, commanding the starting 11 again, but we hope that he'll come good possibly next season. So, yes, that is it. Wolves won their Crystal Palace 3. And you know, the likes of Michael Lise in form, Ebreche, Eze also scored, then jean Philip Mateta. Then the home side, we had Matthias Kunha, who got a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Jordan Ayu, as I said, he was an unused substitute and that is it. Jeffrey Schlopp also came on to do some few minutes, about 10 minutes in total, and he didn't even touch the ball. At that time, they were under pressure, you know. So, yes, that is it. Now, let me move on and talk about AFC Bournemouth. They were at home and they welcomed Brentford. Yes, and our interest, Antoine Salom Semenyo, good destiny. He also played and um, they lost by two goals to one. Dominic Solanke scored for the home side on the 89th minute, but before then, they had considered the first goal from um, Imbuemo um, on the 86th minute, then he equalized on the 89th minute, and we had Yohan Risa, who scored on 90 plus 5. In fact, this game, all the goals came from the 86. So, 86, 89, 90 plus 5. They played the game up to 104 minutes, and it was really amazing. So, after 104 minutes for Antoine Salam Semenyon, he had touches of 58 in the game. Accurate passes, he gave 22 out of 33 attempts, which is 67%. One keeper for Semenyon, one cross for him. Shot on target was one. Shot off target were two for him. Dribble attempts were four. Two were successful in the game. Ground was Semenyon went in for 12 and got two right. Error was he went in for eight and got four right as well. Possession loss were 24. And that is it for Antoine Salem Semenyon. Semenyon at AFC Bournemouth, he doesn't play as a striker, as I've been saying, or as the lead man. He he actually strikes from the right wing position. That is where he plays. And that is it. This season, he's done well, contributing in 10 goals, scoring eight of them, and also providing two assists for AFC Bournemouth. He's up for the Supporters Player of the Year. So let's all go and vote for him. I brought you an update on this channel, and I also added the link to you on this channel. So, yes, these are the Ghanaian players who played in the EPL today. Tomorrow, you have Manchester United versus Arsenal, the Old Trafford, where Pate will also be in action. We'll be following and bring you all the updates. French League One will be having a lot of um, players playing. I've already brought you updates on Andre Ayou. We have NS Noama who will be playing um, Nathaniel AJ, a lot of the players across the globe. I'll bring you all those updates on this channel. So, just stick and stay with me. EPL in the other results, we had Fulham today. They lost by four goals to now against Manchester City at home. Um, Tottenham Hotspur also won two goals to one against um, Burnley. Newcastle won Brighton won, as I said. Everton won. Sheffield nil. Um, Bournemouth won. Brentford 2. Wolverhampton won. Rest 1. Crystal Palace 3. West Ham 3. Luton 1. As of the time calling the video, Chelsea is about to play. So Chelsea will play 4.30pm against Nottingham Forest away. And that is it. So tomorrow games will also follow. And that is that. 
for the table i'll be displaying it here you know so just be checking on my right hand side for all those details i don't have to waste my time on that so let me give shout outs and i'll be out of here shout outs going out to david um Ache. thank you um, for being here david i've seen you and um, prince are here is also here Abu J. Scott, thank you for being here. Um, then Ima8485 is here. Um, someone was asking me a question. Uh, okay. Um, Abu J. Scott says the link to vote. Oh, Abu Aje, under that video, the link is in the comment box. I'll pin it down there in the comment section. So try and go and vote for Andre Ayu. Ahmed Tijani is here. Thank you. Lucy Boache is here. Hey for Kuala, I appreciate you. Barak says 365. Um, then I have Stefan DK. I've seen you. Joa Ekwaji, you are here. Thank you, Joa. I appreciate you. Rashid um, Basson, thank you for being here. Rashid Idris, too. You are here. Embako, thank you. Um, Swazi Kuji is also here. Samuel, um, okay, Samuel Dubate, thank you for being here. Vincent is also on this channel. Um, then I have Swedu Abdullahi, yes, you are here to stay. Thank you. Apeku Abednego, I've seen you. Black Lion is also on this channel. Mr. Vodi is here as well. Um, then I have who again, let me move on. I think these are all the comments I have under the last video. That's all the time. I'm recording this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to always like the video for me. After that, if you're new, subscribe. Put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.